What up, what up? Uh, it's your boy, the Ricky Trucker, coming at you with a, a video. I don't really do the YouTube thing, but uh, I just gotta, I just wanna put my two cents out. Uh, sorry, got a text. I just wanna put my two cents out on um, uh, Carrier. Uh, I decided to do my first uh, lease uh, at the beginning of 2017. And I started my lease with uh, Roadrunner Transportation. And um, <laughs> as, you, as you can guess from uh, uh, Chase and Andrew videos, <laughs> Roadrunner was absolutely horrible. Uh, I mean, absolutely horrible. And I'm not one to, to, to bash a company or do this and do that but it's just uh i don't i, I honestly uh, don't wish anybody to go over there because you will depending on how long you stay you will fall into debt and i mean um and i'm speaking that and i'm, I'm being 100 percent real man i uh i started the first week in january and uh i turned the truck in last week Cause I, I did the lease through Roadrunner instead of going to Quality because uh, I was gonna go to Quality, but my boy went to Quality the week before, and um, the selection of trucks that Quality has wasn't that great. So I wound up doing the lease through Roadrunner because they stated that uh, they stated that the um the trucks could be moved anywhere you know blah 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 whatever you can you can sign the truck on the wherever carrier you like if if it if it doesn't work through road runner uh the carrier was e n g i mean not the carrier the the people the truck finance company was e n g and i don't recommend them either because uh my second week at road runner was <laughs> I mean, I could just tell right off the bat that it wasn't any good. And uh, my second week at Royal Runner, I called ENG, and I was like, "Yeah, it's not gonna work out here. Uh, I need to know, you know, what do I need to know? I mean, I, how do I ch tr um, change carriers? You know, pull put the truck onto a different carrier." And uh, the guy was like, uh, "You know, you only been there two weeks. You know, give it some time." I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm not saying I'm quitting yet, but I just need to know what do I need to look for, you know, in a carrier before I can switch the truck on. And uh, the guy was like, oh, well, uh, as long as they have 100 trucks, uh, no, 100 owner operators, and they're willing to do the, the uh, superior settlement situation. And that's basically just uh, stated that the carrier pays the carrier takes the money out your settlement before you get the settlement the truck notice paid that's the superior settlement situation whatever but um yeah so after they told me that i start you know i wasn't quitting roll run i was just looking to see which place i wanted to go with so that third week came and uh it was it was bad uh and so I called ENG back, the, the finance company. And I told them who I wanted to sign on to. They were just like, uh, you know, okay, they're they're gonna reach out to the to the carrier, and uh, they were just like, you know, it's gonna see, it, you know, it could take up, it could take a minute, you know, it, it doesn't say how long it'll take before they get a yes or no on if I can take the truck over or not. So I had some money saved up, so I'm just like, okay, you know, just let me know when y'all know. So. Things started really going downhill at Road Runner. Uh, out there running, uh, <laughs> I was running hard. I was cheating logs, man. I was I was doing everything, and I still couldn't make any money. Uh, my last, not not the last check, not the check I just got. The check before this was my own. The most miles I've ran, I've, I've ever run. Uh, I mean, period, like company or whatever and it was 3400 miles and 
out of thirty four hundred miles, my check was like a thousand dollars. It was like eleven hundred dollars, and I mean, I cheated like crazy because I knew I was quit. So I just went ahead and cheated like hell because I wanted to have enough money saved up. Uh, I mean, I wanted to have some money in my pocket for when I go back to quality, just in case it takes me a few days to get a uh, truck. So, um, but yeah, uh, road run, I stayed road run a total of three months and, uh, it was horrible. Uh, I was, I was the last of my orientation to leave and my orientation, it was, uh, me, uh, I forgot those guys' names already, Vito, uh, I can't remember the names. Charles, uh, Adrian, um, the girl. It was like six of us. And I was the last to leave. Uh, we had one guy leave after three weeks. He just said, you know, fuck it. He couldn't, he, he already, he didn't have money saved up. So not having a check just, it, it really hit him. And like after three weeks, he turned the truck in. So then uh, the next person was Charles. He probably, no, the next next was Brandy, it was the girl. She probably turned the truck in like two weeks after him. Charles did the next week, then Pablo, then uh, Adrian. Well, I'm still I'm still there trying to, you know, uh, no, Adrian didn't turn, me and Adrian turned our truck in. Uh, he turned his truck in the day before me. Uh, yeah, but, um, he went, he was $4,000, no, $3,000 in the negative. I never got that bad because I was cheating. I was running like hell and I was cheating. So, um, when I left for a run, I didn't have a negative balance or whatever. I only had one negative check at Road Runner. Yeah, I went negative one week and the next week I was clear. I, I was out of the negative. Um, so... But I mean, I know most of those guys. They they were they were negative, negative. They they had they were in debt to Roadrunner, and I didn't like I said I didn't ever get that bad. Uh, I hopped out of the lease before you know before I said I was gonna get that bad. But uh, January they told me you know uh, March is when it'll pick up. No February February the end of February is when it'll pick up. February came. They were telling me that, uh, it's the end of March. March came, being they saying it's the end of April. I mean, it just <laughs> they just kept they just kept pushing it back. Um, but uh, first week over here, the new carrier, and uh, I can tell the difference. For one, I have a low board, um, and I did get a truck through quality. Don't I don't pretty I mean I don't really care for the truck. Uh, but most of the trucks that quality had, uh, I don't know if you guys uh, were paying attention to that, but quality, uh, they'll give you a truck with no warranty, like with no warranty left on it. Uh, so say for instance, you go and grab a 14, because they didn't have anything, they didn't have anything uh, that was like 15, 16. Uh, everything they had was like 14. Well, they had 16, but like what I'm in now is a 16, and it's a, it's a Lone Star. Uh, the truck like the right brother had the, the big red dickhead uh, but uh mine's is black and uh i mean like i said i don't care for it it's, it's it's too many blind spots you gotta open the door you know you can't really get it in a tight spot uh stuff like that um but yeah man i just wanted to share my two cents on road runner uh there was an agent that road runner who, I mean, he tried his hardest to help. Uh, and I shot him out. Uh, his name is Craig Wilson. Uh, so if you're over that road runner, like I said, I don't recommend you go to road runner, but if you're at road runner and you're scared to uh, break the lease with that truck, man, get in touch with Craig Wilson, man. Uh, like I said, I didn't make, the last three weeks I was working with him, I made, uh, a thousand dollars, um, and like eight, nine hundred dollars. So, I mean, it's still not good, but you know, before him, when I was working with those other agents, I was making like five, six hundred dollars. So, I man, hey, 
But uh, I just wanted to share my two cents on uh, road running transportation. Like I said, I'm not bashing them. Uh, I just don't recommend them. Uh, and there's plenty of guys out here who... Oh, yeah, one more thing. Uh, Joshua. Joshua Longino, uh, however you say the guy's name. Uh, I talked to him. Um... He didn't recruit me, so I'm not I'm not I'm not gonna bash him. Uh but he recruited he recruited uh a buddy of mine. And like I said, uh my buddy I'm not gonna say he recruited me, but I was ready to get out of Tyson anyway, so I came on over the road running. So but yeah, Josh he did some messed up. <laughs> it was messed up, man. It was messed up. He was telling all these guys about how he's making so much money over there, road runner, all this and that. And I um came across one of his videos where he he, he didn't say it, he commented and he was like he was four thousand dollars in debt that road runner. <laughs> but I mean he was getting all these referrals, man. Every I mean he was proclaiming to be a road runner driver recruiter and all this and that. Um like I said I got I wish no ill will on the guy. But um Hey man, to each his own, I guess. But I feel sorry for him if, if one of those guys catch a better truck stop or something, man. Somebody might put hands on him. Cause you, you don't, you don't do that, man. You don't mess up. I mean, like he put a lot of guys in 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 jeopardy of losing everything they had. I mean, which you know, if you're not making any money, you should quit or you should break the lease or do whatever. But at the same time, man. Um, I know a lot of guys that got some real animosity towards him, and uh, <laughs> hey man, I just will. <laughs> like I said, I wish no ill will on the guy, but yeah, that's why I don't. I don't do the whole YouTube recruiting bullshit because most of those guys, um, they'll tell you to come here, tell you to come there, do this, do that, and it's it's all bullshit. It, they just they do it for the referral. That's the only reason why they're doing it. They ain't they ain't doing it to help you, to, to, to put you in a better place. Nah, they doing it solely for the referral bonus. I mean, that's why I, if I know you, if I personally know you, and you tell me about a company like the carry I'm with now, you know, I did recruit I did uh put down the guy's name, but I knew this guy from Interstate. Like me and him like actually knew each other, talked on the phone, stuff like that. Uh, you know, he, I consider him, you know, one of my one of my buddies or whatever. I mean, he didn't recruit me. He just was telling me what shit that I wanted to hear. <laughs> but I made sure, you know, he got it. I think it's like five hundred dollars or whatever. I think it's like two fifty after thirty days and whatever the rest of it is. But uh, yeah, man. Like I said, this is just my um uh, my two cents on Royal Warner because I know it's not a it's no it's not um. If you Google them, you won't find anything about them. That's what that's what happened to me. Uh, I couldn't find anything about them. I couldn't find no negative reviews. Uh, but to, to to truth be told, if you can't find negative reviews on the company, I wouldn't go to them anyway because they 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 they're making them bitches get deleted. <laughs> they deleting them. They doing something. Um, but yeah, man. Like I said, I'm not telling you not to go to Road Runner. I'm not bashing Road Runner. But uh. I don't feel as you, I don't feel as if you can be successful at Road Runner, because um, everything they offer me. Oh yeah, 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 I know, I know. I keep I keep fucking in saying I'm in the video and then keep talking. But um, Road Runner, they do lie to you, because um, when you're talking to the recruiter, they're saying, "Oh, you talk directly to to brokers. You do this, you do that. That's bullshit. It's bullshit. You talk to a Road Runner agent." So, uh, by the time, I mean, put it like this, all the freight the agent was offering you was paying a dollar a mile, maybe a dollar ten. And, uh, if you go to say, no, nah, it's too low. You're like that. The only, this is what they'll say. Oh, I can probably get it up $50. Like what the fuck is $50, man? Like they said, you paying for, you paying, you, 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 you paying for a trailer and everything. And you still making less than the guy who's over at. Schneider or, or in the state or wherever the 
uh, Prime and all that. You making less and you got a trailer load. Those guys are making 68% uh, or whatever because they're running power only. You're supposedly getting 80% over here at Roadrunner, which is bullshit. Because uh, that agent, he's going to take 10%. Put it like this. A shipper has a load. The broker is going to take, whatever the shipper is trying to pay, the broker is going to take 20, about 20 to 40% off the top of it anyway. <laughs> uh, after, after the broker takes it, he's going to offer it or put it on the load board or do whatever. And a roll on the agent gets the load. Now he's going to take 10, anywhere from 10 to 15%. So now uh, you already lost what? anywhere from 30 to about 50 fucking percent on the load of, of what, it, what it was actually paying and uh